Now at 530 is one South Bay airport a victim of its own success. The explosive growth of Mineta San Jose Airport causing a major passenger a headache to get even worse. Good evening, I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. As KPI X Files Devin Feely joins us now live, Mineta San Jose, where those parking lots were completely full this holiday weekend. Passengers had to do some scrambling, huh, Devin? Yeah, that's exactly right. The airport has nearly 10,000 parking spots, but it just wasn't enough this weekend, and the problem only appears to be getting worse. For nearly nine hours on Saturday, every single spot in every single lot at San Jose International Airport was completely full, leaving departing passengers scrambling to find off-site parking or risk missing their flights. Every time I come here, I only have like uh, an hour range before my flight starts. So if I came here, there's no parking spot. I couldn't even imagine that. It's going to be very disruptive. The airport acknowledges its growth in recent years has outpaced parking, a situation that passengers find troubling. I've been coming out here long enough now that I remember when it was much smaller than this, but I think it has grown far greater than anybody could imagine it has. San Jose International had roughly 14.3 million passengers in 2018, nearly 2 million more than the year before, a 14.7% increase. The airport says that real-time information about parking is available online, but for passengers who show up unaware that there's not a spot for them, the options are limited. I don't have any idea what they should do. I mean, it's a shame they don't have an extra place you could go. The airport plans to add an additional 900 spots in the next year to a year and a half, something that can't happen quickly enough for all of the passengers now competing for parking. And you can get that real-time information about parking conditions here at the airport at www.flysanjose.com parking. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX Fong.